Hi, I'm Julia, and welcome to my Thermomix kitchen. And today I wanted to show you how I make, quick and easily, some mashed potatoes, or technically they're probably like whipped potatoes in the Thermomix. And what I like about making them potatoes in the Thermomix is I just cook them in the milk, and uh, then at the end you just whip them up, and it just makes them really nice and easy and fast and really creamy. And so get started, we want to insert the, our butterfly. Make sure that sits in here well. And then we're going to add the potatoes. And I have some German butterball potatoes here. They're new potatoes because that's the type of, that's the season we're in right now. Um, and because they're nice and organic, I didn't peel them. Um, you just want to make sure that you cut them into similar sizes because the, that's how they cook more equally. Because if you have some that are really big and some that are really small, they're going to cook at different rates. Um, and so I, I cut these all up. And then you just use the amount of potatoes that you think you need for um, your, the amount of eaters you have that day. This should be about a pound. And it comes in at 470 grams. And you want to weigh them because then we've got to use that information to figure out how much milk to add. And you want to add about 30 or 35 percent of the amount of um, potatoes in milk. So I have. Um, 47, 470 grams of potatoes, so 10% would be dropped to zero at the end, would be 47 times 3 would be 30%. Uh, 45 times 3 is 135, so I'm going to go for about 140 grams of milk here. So I'm going to zero my scale, and then I'm going to add... hundred and forty grams of milk and then for this amount of potatoes I'm adding a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and then you can always add more salt later it's much harder to take the salt out it's also much harder to take the milk out because once you have watery potatoes so you know if, if you're gonna if you're not sure err on the side of less milk and less salt and then you can always add that in uh, later so then we're gonna add this and now we want 25 minutes on 100 degrees. Put the lid on and turn this on. And then I will see you in about 20 or 25 minutes, depending on how long these potatoes take. And I'll show you what, how to quickly finish it up and turn it into whipped potatoes. Alrighty, so here we are. Um, I have about eight minutes or so left on the clock here. Uh, that's all it took today to cook these potatoes and I'm going to stop this machine and I will show you what it looks like on the inside here now. As you can see that you can't really see the shape of the potatoes anymore. They just sort of all, they really, all that's really left to do is to whip them up. In order to whip them up, what we're going to do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some butter, and I'm adding a nice chunk of butter here. In this case, it's about 25, 30 grams of butter. And then I always like adding a little bit of nutmeg. So here's my nutmeg grater. Braid my nut a few times. And then I'm going to put the lid back on and do leave the butterflies in place. And then we're going to turn off the heat. I'm going to zero out the time and turn it on to four. Look in here, make sure that everything gets whipped up. I don't want to over whip it. I will take the lid off once. Scrape down the sides. Looking good. Go back in one more time for a few seconds. have it, mashed potatoes in the Thermomix. 
So please, um, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you get uh, the notification when I add more videos. And if you have something that you'd like to know how to make in the Thermomix, do send me a comment or a message and I will see that I can figure out how to make it because I think just about anything that can be cooked can be cooked in the Thermomix. Have a great day.